Okay, so a lot of times people ask me, well, what do you do? And I explain to them, I am an energy healer, energy worker, if you will. And the modality I use is vibrational healing. The whole concept is that everything is energy, energy is impressed upon matter, and you are matter. And so what happens is when I go into session with an individual, I look at them energetically, first of all, and identify what doesn't belong, what is not them, what is not supposed to be in their field, their energy field, because we're all in this big energy field. So when I look at you, to me, you look like the shape of an energetic egg. And inside this egg is everything that makes you up, your chakras, meridians, bodies of consciousness, your soul, your central channel, your life force. There's a lot of different pieces that go together, that knit together in order to be this vehicle for your soul, which is really who you are, because you're an eternal being having a human experience. And as a lot of pieces go into this body, mind, feel complex, your soul occupies it and then you walk this earth. So for the most part, you come into this world whole, perfect, and complete. But then the world impinges upon you and you're born into a family of origin that may not nurture you the way you need to be nurtured. You're introduced to a school system that teaches you more about prisoner training and obedience than it does any kind of education. You're introduced to a religion that teaches you more about obedience than it is any kind of spirituality. And then you're introduced to your family beliefs and your family of origin structure and all the things that go into their makeup. And then you're uh, thrown into a society that teaches you that something's broken, something's missing, and that you have to buy the next big car, the next big house. Then what happens every time you have a trauma or some kind of traumatic experience in your life, it does damage to the field. And so what happens is you come into this world at one level of consciousness, and then you end up operating at a lower level of consciousness because of all the negativity that's lodged in the body-mind field complex. So if you lose somebody close to you, if you go through a bankruptcy, if you go through a divorce, if you are in an automobile accident, some kind of serious physical illness, etc., 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 all these things work against you and push consciousness out of the field. They can also lodge negative emotional charge and trauma and uh, negative emotions and those things in the field and that blocks consciousness as well. And then what happens is you end up operating at a much lower level of consciousness than what you originally were. And this is why as children, you know, we, we look at the world and we see nothing but possibility and we see uh, opportunity and we dream and we, you know, we, we see, you know, we, we're gonna be a superhero or a firefighter or whatever. And then as you get older, all this negative stuff builds up in the field and it pushes consciousness out and you begin to forget who you are and you begin to stop dreaming and you begin to forget what's possible for you. And then it, it begins to slow you down because you're not processing energy, you're not taking in energy, you're not moving it out into the world. So this world is about movement and flow movement and flow and my work is about restoring that movement and flow and so what I do is I look at the field and if you can identify it then and name it then you can clear it and you can clear it from the field with vibrational healing and that's using sacred geometric codes and frequencies to put in the opposite frequency of whatever it is and you put in the opposite frequencies clear the field the field lets go of that energy and now you're no longer holding on to the negativity and now more consciousness is available for your life, more awareness is available to you. What I liken it to is uh, being in a swimming pool and holding down a beach ball. And the longer you hold that beach ball underneath the water, the more and more energy it takes from you and eventually you wear out and the beach ball comes roaring to the surface. That's what emotions are like, negative experiences are like, anything trapped in your energy field that's what that is and eventually that beach ball will come roaring to the surface and it will come out and it will come out sideways like addiction or any kind of other things that go in your life just negative attractions and fatigue lack of lack of really caring lack of joy in this world and that's that's from holding that beach ball under because the energy that you've got for that beach ball is energy that you no longer have available to live life with. So clearing the field brings back the energy, brings back your ability to live fully.